Hey gang, I have the day off and uh, sitting here in sweatpants and I was thinking, uh, what should I do? Let's take a look at a preamp. So today we are taking a look at the Miele preamp by Bernetti. I've never heard this before. I don't know anything about it. Um, Michael Torren let me borrow it, the keeper of all preamps. Um, I think this looks really cool. Bernetti is an Italian amp company. I know of Bernetti because they have licensed models of their amps in Overloud's THU plugin. So I've seen the Bernetti name and I've, I've heard Bernetti around, but I've never seen any in LA. Um, this is a vintage preamp, so 20 plus years old. They do make a preamp uh, that is the Miele Custom. Uh, I'm assuming that's revised and updated. There seems to be uh, a few more features on the custom, but this has this distinct look, the anodized blue metal, what is it, what do they call it here? MIDI switched definition tube preamp. That, that feels like a bit of a translation thing, uh, definition tube, I don't know. But check this out. So I think this will light up and show you which channel you're on and you push it as a button to tell you which channel. How nice is that, that you don't need to have a MIDI switcher or some whole setup. Bright switch on each channel and a, does that say shine? The back has a bunch of outputs. There's an input on the front and the back and MIDI, check that out. So I guess the whole thing is MIDI switchable for your channels. You're not gonna be able to change gain or EQ, but channels. Let's plug this into a Mesa 290 power amp. Uh, the only thing I've heard about Bernetti is that they're smooth. So maybe that Mesa 290 will complement its smoothness there. So give me a second to plug this in and we'll fire it up. Yeah, sweet. Okay, so we're clean channels going into the Mesa and I'm just gonna put the presence straight up going into one of my IRs, uh, which is a Greenback and Vintage 30. I think that's my, my favorite one. It's an awesome blend on a Marshall cab. And um, yeah, I haven't changed anything. This is how Torn had it set up. It's nice. Right off the bat, right? Uh, okay, so gains, if we turn the bright switch off, let's see. Put these at five-ish. What are we looking at here? Yeah, it does get dark. That 
that's cranked treble, so we're going to go with warm. That makes me uncomfortable. No, I'm going to leave it at 10. I'm not going to be a wimp. It's on 10. So mids. <laughs> Just good, right? How much, how much gain does this have? That's legit. Every setting on channel one is really nice. All right. Well, I mean, you just can't make it sound bad. That's fantastic. Okay. Channel two, crunch. Oh, my God. 
It's almost impossible to dial in a bad sound on it. And not only that, almost every sound is good. It goes from like these big, really good feeling cleans too. I mean, that's a tall order on a preamp, uh, but it's great feeling cleans. It gets kind of that harmonically rich sort of Demeter matchless uh, sort of thing. And then pushes into like, it's not what I would consider like Marshall-y, it's more like Nailer, Demeter, maybe a little diesel-y because it's so sort of fat and warm and it just loves that mid-range to be up. Uh, and then the lead sound is big and fat. And you heard it gets aggressive, but I wouldn't call it like, this is not the Gent guy's preamp, but it's big. I mean, you could Stone Temple Pilots all day long on this thing, really fantastic sounding. So color me super impressed. I mean, I haven't really even seen these. They're rare, uh, this edition. Maybe the new ones are just readily available. I don't know, I haven't looked, but uh, the old ones definitely are rare uh, and they were going for around a thousand bucks or so. Uh, I'm gonna make some profiles of this so you could find it on uh, bigharryprofiles.com if uh, that's something you're interested in. If you want those kind of tones uh, and don't have one, we're, I mean, not many people do, so. Um, so thank you to Michael Torn for, uh, he actually put it in my hands. He's like, borrow this. And I sat on it for, for ages. But uh, thank you, Michael, because this is awesome. Uh, that was a really pleasant surprise. So good thing to do on your day off, right? Thank you, gang, for watching. Um, thanks for being here. I'll see you later. <laughs>